Elon gave Optimus to Mark Benioff from Salesforce. Yeah. Can we watch the, the video for his office? Like, a few questions I'm curious about is like, where do you think he's at right now relative to where he could be as someone who's been working in robotics for nine years now? Yeah. 10 years. Yeah. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about where he's at and how fast do you think the adoption curve can change? Hey, Optimus, what are you doing there? Just like a delay. Ready to help. Hey, Optimus, do you know where I can get a Coke? Sorry, I don't I have real time info, but I can take you to the kitchen if you want to check for a Coke there. Oh, yeah, Let that'd be great. Go. Yes, let's do that. Let's go. Awesome. Let's head to the kitchen. Powered by Grok. Okay. Okay, go. I think it's. I think we need to give it a bit more room. Right now, it's kind of paranoid about space. It'll be able to walk a lot faster too. The way I interpret that as a uh, muggle, uninformed, just consumer is like, oh, we got ways to go. My interpretation initially too is it was really slow in terms of processing the question, which was a little surprising. I wonder if it's like the compute and it's limited or no, what. All of the voice yeah. AIs are really bad right now. They take yeah. so long to respond. Like I use them all the time and it's like, yeah. there's a fat delay. And the walking looks much better than it was, but still it obviously looks like progress. I think for Elon and knowing his tenacity and like push and urgency, I am kind of surprised that that's the state of what it is, but that looks real. First, maybe some of the other demos. They were well. Humanoids, I think the big question is, what problems are you trying to solve? I think 100% there's a humanoid feature. I think this world, as I said at the beginning, is built by humans for humans. And I think when you can tap into that, like that's where you create superhumans. That's where you can do anything you or I could do. And then you plug in LLMs. I mean, that's it's crazy. But why? Like, what are you truly trying to solve for? And I think there are companies that are after the humanoid space that are doing things that you don't need a humanoid to do. You can get a $2,000 robot that it doesn't look anything like that. That is purpose built. So I think that's the piece of like, where do humanoids make the most sense? Yeah. That's at least the big gap I see.